Hey, let me show you how you can quickly transfer data from your Google Pixel 9 Pro XL to your Windows PC. It works for the Windows 10 and for the Windows 11. So first of all, you will have to prepare the USB cable. And there's two options. You can use this original cable that actually comes in the box, but also we can use another cable from any other device. So what I mean, in the box you can find double USB-C cable. And if your laptop only have USB-C, so you will have to actually get this kind of the adapter and connect the into the USB-C port just like this. But if you have the USB-A input in your PC, like in my case, you can just simply connect this into the USB port like that. And now you will have to grab your pixel and input here the USB-C cable. There we go. Now, as you can see, we've got information about the charging. So we can open this quick bar, which is located at the top. And right here, click on the charging this device via USB. And let me just bring it out. Tap for more options and switch from this device. I mean, from data transfer into the file transfer. So select this option. There we go. Now, you will have to go into your PC and you will have to open the file explorer. I'm gonna actually make it a little bit bigger for you, which is located here, and select Pixel 9 Pro XL. Then go into the internal shared storage. And now if you are searching for your photos, they will be right here in this DCIM folder. Go into the camera and here we can find all of the photos that you actually take with your pixel and videos also. So now if you want to select everything, you can just click and hold with the left mouse button and slide like that to select everything. Now click with the right mouse button on any of the file, wait for the pop-up menu and select copy. So you can actually copy these files and you can tra transfer them to your PC, but also we can cut them so after they will be transferring into your PC, they will be removed from your pixel. So you have to decide. In my case, I'm going to click copy. Then I would like to put them just right here on the desktop, but I'm going to create a new folder. There we go. Now I have to go into this folder, click with the right mouse button on the empty space and select this icon to past. And now as you can see, the transfer is on the way. And that's basically how you can do this step by step. So right now, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.